Hello friends, now let's discuss about sclerenchyma. Sclerenchyma is a simple and hard tissue and it consists of secondary thickening walls. In this sclerenchyma provides a, it gives protection, means it's a supporting tissue and it consists of dead tissue at maturity. Mainly this sclerenchyma are a, giving protection to the surface tissues of the plant body from tension, strength and the bending, flexibility these are giving protection to the plant body and mainly this sclerenchyma is divided into two groups that is sclerids and fibers sclerids these are short fibers these are much elongated and uh, if you ask about the sclerids, where we can see the sclerids? Sclerids are seen in the means they are uh, seen in the all parts of the plant body, and uh, generally you can see this uh, uh, sclerids in the cortex and the pith region of gymnosperms and dicotyledons. Now we can see the sclerids in groups or singly. Sclerids are also seen in association with means they are placed just beside the phloem. Example for this is cinema. And uh, we can see these uh, sclerids in roots, that is nymphia. And we can see in the mesophyll of leaf, nymphia and trichodendron. We can see in the fleshy fruit parts, parts of fruit, that is in a pear. And uh, we can also see in the seeds, that is pea and beans, we can easily identify this having the sclerids. And uh, we can have the thickening and hardness of the cell wall is due to the sclerids only. Example in the leguminous seed coats, that is Pisum satevum, we usually break this. Uh, seed coat and we can eat the seeds easily as we everyone see the seed coats everyday life and uh, we can also see the protective scales of garlic this is also a sclerid example is allium satevum now let's see uh, mainly the sclerids are classified into five types those are brachiosclerids, macrosclerids, osteosclerids and uh, Astrosclerids, last but not least, that is trichosclerids. Now we are going to discuss about brachysclerids. Brachy means stone cells, means these are isodiametric in shape and it is having, they are show the similarity with parenchyma cells and uh, mainly we can see the cortex with and the fleshy parts of fruit. Example for this is. Cinnamon, Goa, Custard Apple, Sapota, Pear and Coconut. We can easily see these uh, brachysclerids mainly in this type. Now let's talk about macrosclerids. Macro, the name itself denotes it is rod-like cells. Means they are rod cells. These are columnar and, uh, and these are arranged like uh, rod-like cells. Example for this is Mainly, they are fantasy numbers. Seed code of fantasy that is B R and P E. Now let's talk about osteosclerids. These are also columnar in shape, but at the ends these are swollen and these are similar to that of. They show the similarity. Looks like a bones. That's why its name is given as osteosclerids. Example for this is leaves of hakia and leguminous seeds that is pisum satayam now let's talk about the other one is astrosclerids means star shaped these are stars in which these are branched and uh, appear like a star shaped mainly we can see this type of in a petiole stem petiole and leaves example for this is tea leaves and uh, trichodendron and lotus we can easily see these astrosclerids now let's talk about strichosclerids the name itself denotes strico means everyone knows these are hairs means 
they show like a branches of eggs. Example for this is aerial roots of monstera and the leaves of olea. That's it about the sclerenchyma and sclerids. In another video we are going to talk about fibers.